Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Margaret, also known as Seven Plaza here and on Instagram. And today is day 39 of the 100 day project. First of all, I need to apologize. Um, there was no video up uh, yesterday because they were doing some heavy construction uh, near our house and the noise was awful i it, i just couldn't um so you could hear a little bit of the noise in the background today they moved a little bit further um uh, from my house so hopefully it will stay that way um and i'd like to thank all of you who reached out to me and were worried where were you we were waiting for the video i love you guys that was uh it warmed my heart thank you so much uh, today is part four and the last part of making this journal, the vintage um, airlines journal. Um, so let's get started. What is left to do is um, making the signature, of course, and I want to fill this pocket up and maybe do some decoration. Um, I'd like to show you something um, that I found a couple of years ago. This is a vintage map from the KLM, the Royal Dutch Airlines, from someone who traveled. Uh, and it was, I believe, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look it up somewhere in the 50s or 60s and they kept everything like their their boarding pass and such it was wonderful to see and like this this pouch is good for lemonade or tea and then the price list uh for cigarettes on board <laughs> and liquor i don't know a sticker they went to singapore and this very old sticker it is completely discolored now but i love it and there was a song booklet in here the golden circle song and it was it's all crazy it's probably because of the uh, sticker that was in here and this is like um flight notes and so it's uh, september 1960 and i just i love it i absolutely love it um i will not be adding the original stuff into this map because i treasure it i did however copy a lot of things uh to make some ephemera with and um and that i will be adding to the journal but i wanted to share this with you guys so that was a lovely find a couple of years ago there's so much stuff in here and then a big map of um well india and australia beautiful absolutely beautiful so i wanted to share that with you guys um for the signature i have already because well, I, I wanted to do the video yesterday i have already um collected all the papers that i want to use and also got them to size well i need to cut them uh, to size a little bit more i need to but we'll get there uh, the problem is this journal is going this way but it's also going this way um that's fine with me it's a multifunctional journal <laughs> you can have it ever which way you uh want so some pages will be um like this and then other pages will be like this am i making myself <laughs> i don't know you'll you'll find out um to attach them i need to make hinges so I also made some hinges out of uh, some old book pages uh, from the book um, that I cut these beautiful images out. So I'm going to recycle the whole bit. Um, and I think we'll start there, I guess. Yeah, well, let's do that. Let's start with the hinges. It will be a small signature. I'm only using uh, 10 pages um, and I wanted to pair them up. Um, like these ones I will pair these together and then these two this is a map this is a piece of cardstock that I've had for a long time and I printed like uh, blueprints of an uh, airplane on the back so I really like that the idea then these were also from the vintage book I really like the images and then this was some sort of like i don't know craft paper that had some travel london stuff on it i thought it would look nice and this um i printed out from the um, uh, vintage 
ephemera set that I had and um, I cut it to two, two size and these are blank. I have a lot of blank space in this uh, signature because I really want uh, to be able to write on it. Uh, but this is too white, of course, for me. So what I also did was uh, print out some uh, ephemera and I want to do like sort of a collage on here. So I do uh, want to do, I want to do that after we hinge them together. I think that is the best thing to do. Otherwise we'll maybe use the hinges on the, I don't know. I want to do that after. So these are the hinges. I have measured my um, journal. This is, I believe, 17 and a half or 16 and a half. Let's have a quick look. Now, this was almost 17. I made the hinge a little bit smaller because I want the signature to um, fall into the journal and not stick out. And I also already, I've made so much stuff already. <laughs> um, um, make this a uh, spine and it's going to be a um, hidden signature hidden spine signature thingy you know it's the same as was on here except i flipped it around i uh, taped this on the gray side and this on the white side I prefer the white side oh also fix this yeah put some new ribbon on with tape so you see i fixed everything i'm like macgyver for the um, uh, hinges, I cut pieces into, um, this is one inch and this then is 16 and a half. And you just fold them over, fold them together. Like so. And then you need to make a decision. Um, these two are going to be hinged together. Do you want the hinge to go? over this page or under this page catch my drift yeah i think i want to have it over the page yes so i'm gonna glue them in like so perfect glue stick where are you, blue stick? It is here, and I need a piece of paper. Some pages are a little bit taller than the other ones, but that is just fine. Because we can cut them to size. So I'm gluing the inside of the hinge. Let's have it the right way up, please, yes. Over here, be sure nothing is upside down. Yep, there we go. And glue on the other part over here. I'm leaving a tiny bit of room. So they will fold over easily. All right. Shall we flip this over? Will that work? We'll strengthen it. I'm sure, certain of it. Well, I did it now, so there's no turning back. See? Now it's like one page. Yeah, perfect. That's one. Let's have another one, folding it over. Also, I have no clue what they're building or doing or anything. It's just some drilling and and it's not um, a neighbor. Uh, it's outside. I still need to have a to take a look what exactly they are doing. Um, this one goes here, there you go, I 
This was actually a Happy Meal, and I don't know who gave it to me. I, I can't remember. I really can't remember. So sorry, friend, who gave me this in Happy Mail. Oh, let's make sure, Margaret. Yeah, that's the, that's the right way up. And there you go. Perhaps I will put some nice decorations on here. I could. But for now I'm leaving it blank. And then folding this over again. So exciting, yeah. <laughs> um, this has an up or down. I don't know. Yes, let's have it this way. I don't make um, um, hinges for pages often. I just done it a couple of times. But this is an odd shape to make a journal with. Normally journals you make like so. And not like so. You know, you know me. Always <laughs> want to make it difficult for myself. Challenge myself. I was telling my friend the other day um, that I almost used up my atlas and she was like, oh, I have more for you. <laughs> I was like, uh, I have more for everyone. <laughs> but thank you, friend. That was so nice. I have so many. More glue. This one. Love this paper. Look how nice. These were the spots that the, the um, images were uh, like stuck to. So nice. There you go. I did think about printing something on this. I love to print on old um, book pages. That looks so cool. But I decided not to. Because this um, leaves a lot of room to like um, write on or make another project on. art journaling or something, make a beautiful collage on it. These are too short to fold over. So. I'm just going to cut them off. last one <clears throat> this is rather big these but i do not really want to cut them um should make them shorter or smaller and they do fit i believe and let's have them then as like signature um covers i love this image so i'm going to start with this one and then this image will be like in the back like so when you flip it over yeah, you see my thought process. Yeah. So I'm not going to cut these to size anymore. I'm going to glue them like so. I'm going to have a quick look. Because if I stick these on, 
will I lose then a piece of the image that I really, really like? No, her hair is still on there. I was worried about her hair. I was like, is, am I going to cover the stewardess? Who is not wearing a hat, by the way. So, bad stewardess. <laughs> All right. So, the last one. not very smart margaret no i also fixed my glue gun oh, i did not my husband did he didn't want to charge anymore so such a handy guy so he fixed it for me well for now <laughs> it's working for now Yes. Perfect. Well, perfect, perfect enough. There you go. Let's sew them in. So I put the signature in the order that I want to have it. This is going to be the first page. When you open it up, lots of space here to journal. Also love that it uh, says what it is about and what page it was i like these sorts of details and then this was the part with the map this is from the book also lots of space to journal here do whatever you want here i i think i'm gonna have collages and journaling and such later um this was the craft card piece with also a lot of space to be creative on um, this was the flight plan document and then this is going this is the, the center part um, and then these all these bits will be on here and I think I'm gonna make it easy on myself and do the collage on here before we sew them in and because it's the center part I want to have it like so and like so I think but I do not know, know for sure. I, I guess I'm going to do, be doing it that way. Taking out my big glue stick for this one. Let's carefully remove the other pieces from the signature. There you go. Let's start at the top. Um, these are images that I... Um, printed out found on the internet love them they're all KLM so the Dutch the flying Dutchman <laughs> it says uh, Royal Dutch Air Force airline not Air Force Airlines I won't have it I think like so this is from a little bit later I think this is 60s or 70s and these are very old i think more like 30s and 40s so all sorts of um, eras on this page i like this and also um i think i want to incorporate more of these labels i think that could be nice Mail. oh yeah that looks nice. Let's start with this one. Not inking. <laughs> I need to keep reminding myself not to ink anything of this. Look at that. You made a mess. I made a mess. going underneath all of this here yep like so and then this one was on top of this you can also do that
Was I in frame? I'm sorry. Yes. More glue. My page was sticking. There we go. And then this one, which leaves room to journal. So, please, please, Britney sticker, you can do it. There you go. There's one. I'm gonna flip it around and have the other one. I have some stuff left. This one. And this one. That's an odd shape. it on here oh I think I can and then will this still work I do want to have the KLM bit on here yeah I think we're gonna have it like so I'm gonna lose a bit of this and, th and this but I don't mind I don't mind I think that actually looks nicer. Oh, the noises, the noises. I, I do hope you don't hear all these noises. Here's one. Then this did go underneath a little bit, didn't it? Yes. So I need to start with that one. And I also need another piece of paper. Luckily I have that. Very proud of me cutting this circle because it looks really good. Normally my circles look like rubbish. Like absolute rubbish. But it looks okay. And this one went over it, right? Yeah, so this one first. Off frame again. I am so sorry. This piece is so long. I'm cutting it here, not like over here. And then this piece goes there. bit more tiny bit more and there we go cutting it to size yeah that looks great now we're gonna sew the signatures in I lined up my signatures, the pages for my signature, and I clipped them together with my lovely assistant. Um, and this is the spine, and I've already poked three holes in this. Um, I am using embroidery floss in the red color. 
and my pokey tool of course and now I am going to align up the holes from the spine to the holes oops don't move it about in my signature here's one here's one and then there's one they're not completely in the middle but they will be this is probably not the best way to do it but yeah also i need to fold it on here's one here's one and the last one right going through the middle bit Oh, I picked a big needle for this. <laughs> Maybe that was a little bit too big. Putting it through, not all the way through, leaving a little bit. Also, the length of this thread is two and a half times this width. Going into the middle part, then going down, this one, needle, where are you? Oh, it's so big, you cannot miss it. There it comes. Flipping it all the way over to the top bit. Basically what I'm doing is sewing the spine to the signature. So, except for the other way. Normally you do it the other way around. And then you go back through the middle hole again. tight let's just have a quick check yes that works and then tying a knot let's make it two and there we go and now we need to glue this bit into this part, like so, and I will be using my glue gun for this, right? Yes. So, hopefully it works. Please work. <laughs> well, it's red now, should be green in like a couple of seconds. Let's make some room first. Please go green. You could use um, double sided tape or normal glue. Yes, it's green, yay. I need to be quick because um, this glue dries very, very quickly. So, here you go. Making sure it's in the center, not touching the folds. Don't drip. Well, of course you're gonna drip. We should name you Drippy. Oh, it's working. I will let it dry for a little bit. So it dried. And it looks like this. Big pages. You can do lots of things on here.
yeah it worked out perfect it worked out perfect um the only thing to do is add some beautiful ephemera um, in here and um i have scanned the original one this one and then printed it a little bit smaller because otherwise it would have stuck out so i made this flippy thing gonna add it to here i have a nice postcard alitalia it is vintage it doesn't have a date on it but it's old i'm gonna add it to here maybe over this no, I want the nose to be pointing upwards, yes. Like this. And I've also made two of these cards that we made in a previous video. I love these. I really like them. And I was thinking maybe we could have one over here. And then have one over here. With the tabs just sticking out a bit. And then there's the stewardess from the KLM. And we really, really need to have her on here. So yes do we need another sticker here maybe one handle with care i don't know airmail well, that could be nice don't have the white one I think either this one or this one. Oh yeah that that looks way nicer just some simple decoration because it's already I think enough yes and I have this charm it is a plain as you can see and I was thinking maybe we could add this in the middle of a signature what do you think how will we have it I'm thinking just put this through here yep I do not want it to stick out a lot of the signature That's enough, yeah. Perfect! It is finished! Yay! Let's have a quick flip through. Here it is, the finished result. I like it. It is cute. Um, we did have two like maps in here. And uh, we also did some decoration on it. Then on the inside, lots of pockets made out of um, airmail envelopes. And then we did these. I really enjoyed making these. I think that was the most enjoyable part of uh, the making of this journal. I love them. Yeah. Then there's the signature. We just made this. So let's do a quick flip through again. Isn't that lovely? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. With the airplane. There you go. You can also like color this in. Very therapeutic. Then the skyline. Also love to make this. I like it. With the little uh, labels here. Uh, I did put some uh, ephemera inside this big pocket. Because um, I had lots of these images left. And I thought this was the perfect place to store them. There we go. And then we just did this on the, on the back of the big pocket with all the nice ephemera. Ladies, normally when I do a project like this, it does not take me four days, but much longer. 
so I enjoyed making this, uh, but I must be honest, um, I don't think I will be doing another big project in a series in this uh, 100 day challenge again. Because I really want to have some time in between to think about, uh, think of more creative things. So I like it, but I don't love it. <laughs> uh, but I do hope you enjoyed the series. I'll see you again uh, with another video. And hopefully I will put that up later this day. So we'll have a bonus. Two videos in one day. Yay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.